Hello guys, this is Abhisachi and I'm going to teach you how to use the certificate generator MLSA. If you're a new MLSA or an MLSA who has just uh, conducted an event and you want to send some certificates to your participants and you want to mail them also, this repository can do it all. So firstly, this is the repository that you want to go into. I'll link this in the description below. So with that said, let's just clone the repository. You just have to copy the link from here normally and then come to your any folder that you want to open git bash do git clone then paste this repository just like so and once it is cloned up smallest spelling mistake there once it is cloned you will just have to open that so I can cd into the or maybe let's do something better let's uh, do what I've cloned this in the documents so I think this should be somewhere here oh, let's see let's see let's see where is the cloned yeah I come in here you press here do pwd or maybe cmd and then write code dot this will open up your uh, folder in VS Code. Now once you have the folder in VS Code, you are pretty much good to go. You don't have to do anything else. So yeah, other things don't uh, really worry about for now. This is the main file that you have to run. This is the main file that will be doing all the stuff. So um, here, something you'll have to check out is the participant list you can either have your own participant list or you can just copy it from somewhere what i'll be doing is just uh, deleting everything else and i'll have some names i'll have my own name i'll have my own email Let's say I'll have my another email. okay so these are just two of them but if you want you can have more otherwise if you already have a csv of participant lists i currently don't have a csv but if you have something like uh, let's just see if i have a csv uh, you see i have names right here the thing is the main thing that you will be requiring is something like a participant list so in those participant list, what you'll essentially be having is uh, a name and an email like this. So if I just save this and if I open this um, thing in Excel, you will be able to see that how this participant looks list looks like. So you see, I have two names and two emails. That is basically it. You can have more fields. You can have something like even name, whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. But these two fields, that is a name and email, must be there. So this is that. And after this, all you have to do is forget about this. Main certificate.py. You'll have to do come to your terminal. You'll have to do new terminal. You'll have to write python main certificate.py now the question is if you don't have python see i have python installed i have python installed in my computer i can show you i have python installed right here you can see python 3.9.4 it's directly from the microsoft store if you don't have python very simple way to install python i'll show you you can just go to microsoft store like this and once it loads up let's go microsoft once it loads up what you can do is just search for 
python like this and it should give you all the python versions right here i am currently using 3.9 you can uh, install further versions as well i would always say go one version lower than the latest because it tends to have all the features okay so after you have installed python you will just write this command and press enter so this part might be a little bit different for you this is depending upon if you have already installed the dependencies or not if not then it will install it for you okay so test mode means something that you are just testing it's not test mode so i will give an n so i can enter my uh, event name let's say the event name is test event ambassador name is sabesachi test see it's creating pdfs by my name one is done another is done this is the second name in the list if you remember now my work here is over now now the question is where do i find this so if i go to the folder you will see that in the documents see in the i have a new folder known as output this folder i didn't have before so i can open output now you can see doc doc and pdf doc is the doc x version of the certificate and this pdf is the pdf version of the certificate let's just see see this is abhisachi and i attended test event okay acrobat I attended test event and this event was hosted by sabesachi test this is one pdf now i'll show how you can mail it all you have to do is go to data you have to open this file mail.xlsm xlsm file you have to open let's just see let's open this now you might find this button right here this button just press on this enable content this uh, list might be a lot more longer than you depending upon how many participants you have but this is the basic thing let's just enable content and do a yes here after this is done come here view macros press on view macros there's a send emails all you have to do is press on run i've pressed on run and after a few moments you shouldn't be getting this uh, issue with outlook the thing is that you have to sign in first i didn't sign in earlier so once you're signed in just uh, do the same thing uh, do view macros and send mails and press run and you should see something like this all mails have been sent successfully and you go to outbox you will see that this is that it should be sent immediately okay great um now let's see if i have actually received the mail so let's see this is my gmail let's open gmail great probably have logged in from this yeah there you go this is the mail that will be sent when the test event looking forward to seeing in further programs whatever whatever, whatever and this is the certificate along with that everything has been sent and you can scale this to any number of participants well that was pretty much it uh, thank you so much for uh, your time and this was certificate generator mlsa thanks guys